Hey guys, it is Friday, um, January 22nd, and it is about damn time that I vlogged. It's been so long I forgot how to do my intro. That's nice. Um, hey guys, it's been a long time. I know, I know. Um, I don't have any excuses. I mean, I kind of do, but... Um, I mean, I have excuses for not, um, updating the weight loss diaries. I have absolutely no excuse for not continuing on my weight loss. I have been steady gaining still, and it sucks. It really, really sucks. But, um, I'd say within the last, like, three to four days, I've put a cap on all of it, and just really, really been trying to stay back on track with my eating, um... The workouts are still non-existent. We don't have a topic for this week, which I felt I could take this opportunity to go ahead and update what's been going on with myself as I've been missing in action. Um, I wouldn't even know where to start. They're all pretty positive changes. Uh, first of all, I told myself I've been needing to go back to school. So November, I started doing some research on um, what I needed to do to get back into school. Um, and earn a degree towards psychology. I applied to the local, you know, college, and uh, I believe it was Christmas Eve. I got the acceptance letter, and I thought to myself, this is fantastic, you know. The problem was, it was like Christmas Eve, and classes start like January 19th. So I'm like, oh my god, I don't have time to get everything ready. I'm going to probably have to wait till the next, you know, semester comes around. And I thought to myself, you know what, why not just give it a shot, try to get in for the 19th of January. And sure enough, I mean, I filled in my paperwork, I took everything in, and next thing you know, I have a schedule, I have orientation, and, you know, this week I started school. <laughs> my insecurities have always played such a big part in my not going back to school. I've always been like, I don't want to be the oldest one there, I don't want to be the biggest girl there. It's just ridiculous how messed up my mind has been you know and I really honest to God thought it was going to be like that when I went to school now but I went there the first day and I'm fine I'm like I don't I'm not paying attention to all the little de details you know I'm still working my overnight shifts um I'm trying to work my schedule around that it's really rough and it's only been day two aside from that um the only other thing that's really been keeping me busy is the fact that I have met somebody and um, am now in a relationship with a wonderful, wonderful man. And um, it's it's all new, you know, like I feel like kind of like a teenager again, you know, with your little crush and you're both in love and it's all just wonderful and fine and dandy. Normally when I get into a relationship is when I want to look better, when I want to better myself. But I think with this with the holidays and everything coming around and um, he's taken me to a lot of nice places to eat and he'll come and visit me, you guys. Okay. He will come at my lunch hour. Now granted, I work overnight. My lunch hour is 2 o'clock in the morning. He will come at 2 o'clock in the morning to my job and bring me something to eat. And I think that's like the sweetest thing in the world. And um, he brings me some of the most evilest, evilest cheesecake. Cheesecake, you guys. How could I not fall in love, right? Two o'clock in the morning. You want to bring me some cheesecake? I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> um, so that hasn't been helping my waistline at all. I mean, it's been helping it grow. And I need to stop doing that. And, um... I just need to start losing the weight again. I need to start working out. I realize that a lot of um, my eating that's been putting the weight on has been emotional. You know, good times and bad times, food is what I turn to, you know. And somewhere I just slipped up and went back to my old ways. And I haven't stepped on the scale. I don't really want to. I don't know when I will step back on the scale. Um, it, it might be a while, like really. Because I know I've gained weight. I can tell, like... In my face, I can just tell. In my clothes, let alone, you know, I can tell. Um, so, oof. <sighs> Time to get back on track. 
I just need to get back on track with the workouts. And what I need to do actually is work on my time management skills. I need to be able to get into a routine. But, um, yeah. That's been the two major things. The boyfriend and the school. Major, major things that have been um, keeping me from vlogging. I do want to continue to vlog um, here and on a personal channel. I am going to create a different channel and just start fresh. Start new. And um, I will definitely keep you posted on that. The last reported weight I had, I believe, was like at 208. And I will guarantee you now, I am... I'd be surprised if I was like 214. I don't want to say 215, but ah, uh, I guess I shouldn't even think about it. If I'm not going to get on the scale, I'm not even going to think about it. Um, so I'll try to get on again next week. I'm going to get on the scale next week. How about we say that? Yeah. No, as a matter of fact, forget it, you guys. Damn it. I don't really want to get on the scale right now because I have food in my system. And I have a crap load of water. So I know the scale is going to be off. Screw it. I'm going to go home right now. Get on my scale and report to you the number. And um, face the facts. <laughs> I am going to face the facts because I need to. That's it for my Friday vlog. It's just kind of an update. And I hope you all have an awesome weekend. And um, yeah, we'll talk again next week. Alright guys? Bye.